So we have made it to the bad guys, and we are going to have to go ahead and lay down the law here. What is happening? We've made it to the Sea Temple. Looking pretty cool. Miss Gloria, the Sea Stone. It was in that temple, as you said. That's the second elemental stone we could get. Great. We know that Team Lunar has two other elemental stones. And thanks to our spy, we know the last one is in the hand of... It's your boy. We have company. Oh. What's up? It's you. I should have known. Well, well. Looks like you're too late. We already have the Sea Stone. Should we take care of this, Miss Gloria? Please do. I don't have the time or patience to waste. She goes, hell, goes ahead and just Houdini's out of here and uh, leaves us with the grunts. She's afraid. Now is where you end. Team Solar will always win. I don't know how you can say always win. I've literally won every time we've battled, but, you know, okay. So we have a double battle here. They have six Pokemon. Sweet Jesus. A Giraffe Flame. Look at that boy. And a Tappy Blaze. That's a good looking combo you guys got here. Okay. Um, so we do get the Intimidate, which is nice. That'll help us out. And, um... I can actually just go for a Bulldoze here. It'll be great against both of them. And we have Dracula in front, so it doesn't, it won't hurt me. And then we can go ahead and... You know, I should actually be using Gale Rush. I, I feel like I always look at Gale Rush as if it was like Razor Wind, where I think I had to take two turns to attack. Is that That's not how it is, though, right? Wraps itself in Strong Wind, then tackles the opponent. May also make the target flinch. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh... We'll go ahead and Gale Rush, yeah. How about that? We have not used that, like, at all. We'll attack the Draft Flame here as it quick guards. What even... Quick guard? Okay, we still get the Gale Rush off. Does quite a bit of damage. The Bulldoze will do the rest of it. Alright, one down. I don't think it's gonna knock out the Tappy Blaze. But that thing is pretty damn cool looking. I love this Tappy Blaze. Ooh! A critical hit actually does do it for us. And down you go, sir. So, alright, that was nice and easy. Two down. What do you got next? Groot is going to get some experience as well. So much XP all around. Groot's 29. Trying to learn Dragon Breath. Ooh. Okay, we should probably teach Dragon Breath because it's not the best Dragon move, but it is at least decent. So we'll get rid of Bullet Seed. Kind of work on that dual stab a little bit. Very nice. And an Explonade and a Shrimp Poom. So we're just going to stick with our strategy here and just bulldoze everything, essentially. And we're going to go ahead and... I, does Gale Rush do more than Acrobatics? I feel like Acrobatics with no item is better. We're going to go ahead and uh, attack this here. Shrimp Poon should do... Yep, going to easily put it in range. Ooh, Metal Sound. And you missed. No Metal Sounds around here. That sounds like that would be the worst ASMR ever. So Bulldoze does knock out the Explonade with a crit even. I think it's a, it's a Fire Steel type though, so that probably would have done the trick anyway. And boom, down goes the Shrimp Poon as well, with the best name in the game. That was easy. So much experience yet again. Groot grows to level 30. Next is a Rhizodon and a Meaty Rock. Hey, we have not seen one of these things yet. Uh, Meaty Rock is actually just the evolved form of our buddy Ballin here, who we have not used at all because of reasons. Um, but I'm assuming this thing is probably just an electric rock type. We, I think Razodon's electric, which actually is terrible for Dracula, but I think we could take one attack from it. Um, is it just pure electric? I don't even remember. I don't even remember at all. Um, you know what? I'm going to switch out Troll because I feel like Troll is a little bit sketchy in this situation. Let's go into, uh, man, we don't have a whole lot of options. Let's go into Ronjo. We're going to need to kind of scout out what this Razodon wants to do. I'm really afraid of that thing. Let's go ahead and take a nice little crunch out of it. How about that? We should be able to take one attack. I don't know what the hell it's going to want to do. Bite you right in the belly. We do get the defense drop. It does over half, though. Now it's going to crackle slam. Oh, shit. Meteor Rock. Oh, God. If this Razodon attacks me. Magnitude. Oh, shit. Magnitude 7. Uh, so that's going to hurt Ranja a lot. Please live it. Thank God. Um, wow. That was actually extremely lucky for us because if that thing attacked Dracula instead, we would have been dead as hell. So, wow. Alright, let's go ahead and um, we're just going to Shadow Ball you, Razodon. And then I should probably heal up Dracula. We're just going to get back to full. We know we can take one attack. Um, we will be able to go first with Ranja to knock out the freaking dinosaur. Sweet Jesus, that magnitude, man. Okay, so down goes that thing. 
Um, is Ranja gonna be okay here though? Oh sweet Jesus, what's this Meteor Rock wanna do? He's gonna crackle slam, of course lands on Ranja. No, yes, we live in. We live in, boys. All right, my God, this is. I, I hate double battles for this reason. Okay, I should have healed up both in that situation, but we're gonna hyper potion you back to full, buddy. And my God, okay, let's um. I guess we just crunch this thing just to get some damage. The thing about these meteor rocks is that they have very bad special defense. We could hit it on the physical side; it's not it's not gonna do too much. But if we could just shadow ball it, it'll probably finish it off. So actually, do over half. So. Next is another Crackle Slam. We'll be able to take that. I am very glad I'm at the level that I am. Shadow Ball should do it. And we'll go ahead and crunch you. So, down you go. Pretty cool design on that Pokemon. I actually really do like that thing. Don't know if it's worth training mine up, though. But we have defeated the Grunts. Doesn't matter. We have what we want. We get $1,920. Doesn't matter if we win or lose. We got what we need, and we won't, we won't be stopped. Our plans to release Solaran will come to fruit fruition. Flash. How the hell are these people flashing? I don't understand. What's up with that? Well, uh, okay. Hey, look who we have here. Did you manage to get the stone in time? Oh no, this isn't good. Professor Pinewood tasked us with retrieving the stone and we failed. Yeah, we were supposed to get the freaking stone. They took it, but I beat them. So, I mean, they should have handed it over. Should head back to Sario Town and tell them what happened. But first, let me heal your Pokemon. Thanks, buddy. I really appreciate that because we... Definitely need all the help we can get. Let's get out of this underwater cave and fly back to Sario Town. Oh, we don't get to go into the the temple, though. What the hell? I see. Well, you tried. It wasn't your fault. We were just too late. Their plan still won't work without all five stones together, so not all is lost. Sorry, Professor. What should we do now? Well, we're still doing research here, so there's not much for you to do here. So carry on with your journey. If I need you to find out anything new, I'll call you on your Pokecell. Okay, Professor, just call us if we're needed. All right. Well, Hayden, we should head to Sub Hill City. There's a gym, and we're close to getting into the Pokemon League. Let's do it. All right. Hayden, uh, make sure Rodney doesn't get too upset about losing the Sea Stone. Have fun. Don't think too much about what's going on. You're on a journey, after all. Cool. Well, let's take a look at the old Poke Gear and see kind of what's next here. We're going to head down to lead us to Crystal Cave. Then we have Snow Peak, and then we have Sub Hail City. And then the very the eighth gym is like way back over this way, right? I don't even remember. It's my freaking brother or whatever. Okay, we're gonna head down and uh, see where the wind takes us. I suppose. I'm so very surprised I didn't run into a wild Pokemon there. That was impressive. So we're gonna need to head all the way to the left and then down from here. We have not gone this way, and it's nice and snowy, so I don't think we've actually been on this route. Have I a battle to warm up my Pokemon? Let's go. Um, so this is good for us. We can just, assuming they have a bunch of ice types. Avaldir. Yep, that is perfect for us. Only level 47. So this is another good spot for us to kind of exercise troll out a little bit. Megahorn. Jesus. Why are you so fast? Is troll slow as hell or what? Break, break right to your red nose, old Rudolph. And you did. We got a shiny one of those pre-evolutions last episode. Which was pretty cool. Next is a Pinglet. Um, is Pinglet the... Hey, it's freaking Happy! <laughs> What's up, buddy? It's a little baby Happy. Why hasn't yours evolved? Oh, you need a water... Was it... Do we have water stone that thing? It's been so long since we got Happy. I love that lad. Next is a Snow Wrong. Is that the ghost thingy? Yep, sure is. Um, so for this, we're gonna go ahead and hit you with our beat up because... You're a ghost-ass snowman, which is a very cool concept for a Pokemon. Get a critical hit on our first attack, and uh, we did not even need all six. Two's gonna do it, and we're level 55. So the troll can definitely hold her own here. Try to learn Fey Hammer. What in the hell is that? It's got to be something decent, right? Ooh, it's a fairy move. 120 power with 85 accuracy. Delivers a crushing blow infused with mystical energy, which is sounds pretty damn badass. Not gonna lie. Um. I guess I could hone claws. I could get rid of hone claws, but do I want? Man, this is kind of tough. I want beat up just because it's a decent dark move for us. Um, we could always reteach bulldoze, but I feel like bulldoze is good to have around for steel types. But then again, we should probably not be in on steel types. I never use hone claws. I'm gonna get rid of hone claws. I'd, I'd rather just have the coverage, to be honest. But alrighty then. You are not feared. What? Okay. Well. Here we have an entrance to the Crystal Cave, and uh, we got some slippery-ass ice to slide on, which is always a great time. 
troll be glitching out though. Our first encounter in here. Oh my Jesus, what the hell is that thing? A carbonics? He's like a little toad looking thing, kinda. So we're gonna intimidate you. Um, what should I do to this thing? Should I weaken you? Level 42. Mm. I'm gonna go into happy and maybe quick attack it. I think we'll be okay with a quick attack. Still, they always are just coming at us with so many new po Pokemon. It's insane. Okay, it's gonna spring up. We're just gonna quick attack the air and obviously miss. Carbonics. What is this thing's name supposed to be? Okay, we get a quick attack off. It is gonna be able to take one more, of, which is great. Frost Breath is gonna miss. This guy's been eating all sorts of mints today. He got some frosty ass breath. Okay. Now it's in range. Oh, what it has flame burst? What? If this thing is a fire ice type, that's gonna be amazing. Let's go ahead and ultra ball you ultra ball you. I really need to pick up some more of these. I haven't bought ultra balls in forever. But this should do the trick. Are you a fire ice type? Please be. Carbonics was caught. Hey, it's just a pure ice type. Why did it get can produce two types of liquid that either rapidly freeze or scorch anything in contact with it. They are used in cooking before electricity became common. Well, let's go ahead and give you a nickname here. We're just going to name you Mint. This boy in mint condition. I don't know. Don't know if we're going to end up using that thing. We'll kind of do some research and see if that thing's a cool... Good enough mod for us to use. We do find a never meld ice here, which is just a hold item that increases the power of ice type moves. So that's kind of good because now the only way for us to go is down. I really hope that this place isn't too big. Ha! I need a heartwarming battle. Heartwarming, huh? I'll give you some heartburn, buddy. Julius here has two Pokemon. You got a mole ice. That thing is pretty damn cool. It's like a it's one of those fucking what are those things called? It's one of those weird moles that has like the Kind of got the same same little star thing on its nose. I don't know. But this one has a drill. So. Hey, Brick Brick is going to knock you out. Troll does not care. Groot is trying to learn Synthesis. I don't think we're going to learn Synthesis. I'd never end up using that. Next is an Iglo. Have we seen Iglo yet either? Oh my god, we have not. This, this Pokemon literally just has an Igloo on its body. Now it's going to protect. That's fine. Um, I feel like Brick Break should go through Protect. That would be... I mean, it breaks Reflect and Light Screen. You'd think it would kind of... Ooh, it's living. You have Sturdy? Gee, okay, it does have Sturdy. Now it's going to set up the late game Stealth Rock. Okay, I like your style, buddy. Well, we're just going to finish you with a Bulldoze because we can. We get to conserve a little bit of PP there. Iglo. Well, have we seen the pre-evolution for that or is that just it? A, a very, very interesting mon you got there, Mr. Hiker. Okay. So now we head on yonder. How am I supposed to... I guess we just go like that. Yep, that would make sense. I'm kind of a master at ice puzzles. Found ourselves a max elixir. We are so stocked up on items. It's probably going to come in handy someday. I would hope. Uh, we can go up here to the left, which we should probably actually see the other way first. Levitating Pokemon, huh? You got a psychic, you a psychic person? You sure are. Lila has a Miss Tablet, and we know that these things are fucking psychic types now, obviously, because the psychic person has them, but... My god, okay, it raises its special attack. I'm actually afraid of this thing. Um, do we bulldoze it or beat up? We're gonna beat up. Set you a clean six times. Easy to hit KO, but I'm really kind of afraid of what this thing's gonna go for at me, but probably gonna be okay. Metal Burst! Okay, ouch. Nope, not ouch. Not really all that ouch. As Troll, gonna go ahead and beat your ass up. I would not want to get beat up by fucking Shrek over here. <laughs> Seems, uh, not like the best way to send spend your Saturday. Alright. Let's go ahead and I guess we'll just super potion you back to full. Gotta play it safe these days. Got to play it safe. Okay, so we know that we can go up, but first, let's check out what's going on over this way, as there's just an item, so... Definitely worth coming to grab. It is an ice heel fitting for in the ice cave. I love how the animation for the, the, the following Pokemon is. It's not quite there yet on, uh, on the ice. 
Um, we do need to get over there. We'll go, go ahead and grab... Ooh, TM99 for Dazzling Gleam. That's actually not a bad TM for us to grab. We can head this way. All sorts of items in this place. Found ourselves a Zinc. You know, I'm really worried that we're going to battle with Rodney here pretty soon. I'm sure that he's going to be in here. What's up? Hey, have you seen some ruins in Crystal Cave? Uh, I have not quite yet. I guess this place is pretty big if there's freaking ruins. So Halvar has a snow wrong. Very good for us. Close to level 56. I remember when Troll was just a little baby. He actually grew up pretty damn quick. Or she. Does not seem like very much of a female Pokemon, but... One beat up gonna do the trick. Barely have to hit you even twice. Three times for good measure. And down you go, Mr. Snow Wrong. You got some crystals sticking out of your head. Freaking zombie. We do get to 56 there. Group getting some levels as well. And there is some hail going on. So that's annoying. Next is a mole ice. So this little mole guy again. We can just we've come to learn that we can just go ahead and smack you right in the horn. Little unicorn mole. Young drill boy. And you're dead. No ruins, no win. This guy is shit out of luck. Okay, so we can go left or down. Let's go left first as it just leads us to an ice stone. So many ice type items. Sweet Jesus. So now we can just finish up this way. And it looks like this is an important staircase. Okay, maybe not that important. First wild Pokemon in quite some time. And there's a little Iggle. <laughs> Its name is Iggle, little Igloo boy. That's kind of that's kind of cool. I like it. So we've seen what that thing evolves into. Very cool. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. We be quick onto ice. Fucking figure skater out here. We get ourselves a max potion. Definitely gonna steal that. I can't feel my toes. Is this bad? You know, it's probably not good. Getting yourself a little frostbite here, buddy. We'll just battle you to distract it. You got a Chris Coon. That's pretty cool. Level 45. Um, I really like having Intimidate on Troll. It seems like that's going to really save my ass one of these times. Ooh, it's got a weak armor. But it is going to raise its speed. And it's going to hit us with a Powder Snow, which is you know, not too big of a deal. We eat that up. Now you're gonna get, we're going to beat that up. Beat that pussy up. Down you go, Chris Coon. Next is another Iglo. So that's fine. We can brick break here. This is a very angry Iglo. I like his pre-evolution way better. Okay, sturdy. And always setting up the stealth rock. What the f This thing is like Avalug's weird deformed cousin. Alright. Halfway to 57. Next is a, a snow wrong. So, okay. Seen our fair share of snow wrongs these days. What's what's so wrong about this thing? Why is it? Why are you snow wrong? So, beating up snowmen, doing what we do best. Good job, Trolly. Down you go. We've got to be getting close to whatever's happening in this damn place. Still no feeling. Man, you hate to see it, buddy. Okay, so we can continue. Where is Rodney at? I'm waiting for that boy, Rod. Oh, shit. Wow, Pokemon. Hey, what the hell is that thing? Psychril. You look kind of cool. You kind of seem like you'd be like a fairy ice type, but... Oh, we cannot escape. It's going to shadow ball me. Are you ghost? Can we escape this time or do I have to... Okay, we, we are able to run that time. And now we are going to super potion again because... We cannot have troll on low health. We'll also give you one to happy. Didn't get troll to, troll to full, but we're probably good enough. Let me show you a strong... A song, a song of fire and ice. Let's hear it, Bucko. Ladislav, sick name you got there. You got a Carbonix. So they mentioned fire and ice with these things. Does it evolve into a fire and ice type? It seems like it might, which is pretty badass. It's gonna screech, but of course misses. I don't understand how a screech can miss. Like what? It's literally just a sound. I'm like troll, plug your ears, buddy. Make that screech miss. <laughs> Your song is better. Thank you. Okay, so we can go left or we can go up these stairs. Let's go up the stairs. They look more inviting. Although, it just leads to another fucking... Another ice maze. My god. Hey, and a little mole ice. So, this thing probably turns into something cool. 
Seems like there's a lot of options for this thing's evolution. But we're going to check out the left first, and then maybe go up if we need to. I don't even know. Not really sure what I'm looking for in here. Hey, it's another Jewel Tall, which we do have one of these things. Um, seems like a pretty cool amount to use. I just... It has to take so much time to grind stuff up, which is annoying. Okay, so there is just an item over here, so we do need to go up. But before that, we have ourselves another Carbonix. Young Carbon Boy, get out my way. So it is a Snowball. What the hell is a... What is a Snowball, and what does it do? Let's check it out here. Okay, Snowball. Um, held by a Pokemon, boost attack if hit with an Ice-type attack. Ooh. Well, that's pretty interesting. That would be good to put on Troll. But we're going to leave the Lucky Egg for now. Okay, so we're heading up. This has got to be the last floor. Fourth floor? My god. I'm waiting here for my friend. He's doing some research downstairs. How about a battle in this time? Okay. Where the hell are the ruins at? Like, why? Why are you hanging out in here with a short sleeve shirt? The world may never know. Level 45 Carbonix. We intimidate you because we are spooky. Look at the size of them fists. You do not want to fuck with me, buddy. Also, I could use some PP. I'm kind of running low on Brick Breaks, it seems. Close to 57. Next is another Iglo, so... I want more Iggles! Using so many Brick Breaks. Uh, of course, Dirty's gonna set up Stealth Rock. Watch. Calling it. And, oh, we actually Icicle, Icicle Spears, so, okay. Gonna hit us with an attack this time. Love to see it. Kinda. And we'll just finish you with a... We're just going to bulldoze because you only have one HP. So we can literally breathe on you. And down we go. Alright, so we are going to be 57 here. Which is good because if there is a Rodney battle, we're going to be, I guess, pretty equipped for that. Okay, let's actually make sure that we get you back to full before we continue. We probably have enough Brick Breaks to get us by, I would assume. Heading on down yonder, and we are out of the cave. All right, well, that's it. Got ourselves into Snow Peak, and um, the hail is happening here. I guess we could visit the Poke Center. I just used a damn potion for no reason, but that's fine. I came to Snow Peak Village on the back of my Apple Deer. Cool, isn't it? Pretty damn cool. I wish you could actually ride Pokemon in this game. That would be badass. So, okay, we are going to heal here just for good measure. Get some PP back, all of that fun stuff. And then before we forget, I should probably go buy some Ultra Balls. Seems like that might be a good thing to do. I also have a whole shit ton of stuff to sell, I think, probably. I mean, I did actually do it relatively recently, so we're probably okay. Stock up on some Ultra Balls. We're just going to get a bunch of these because, I mean, let's get like 40. We have so much money. We rich. Also, let's just get some, uh, some more Hypers. We already have 17. We're just going to get four more because I like to have odd numbers. Why the heck not? All right. So now we can get out of here and kind of just explore around the city. See what we're going to run into. It seems like whenever we get to a new city, though, there's always something bad that happens. So I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Hey there, I'm Snow Peak Village's famous move tutor. In exchange of yellow shards, I'll teach your Pokemon awesome moves. Uh, yeah, do I have any? Um, do I have any shards? Recycle, Gastro Acid, Iron Defense, Amnesia. Uh, Dragon Pulse could be good, but three yellow shards? I don't think I have any fucking yellow shards. Nasty plot phantom grip. Let's see if I can get Dragon pulse on our dragon buddy. Do I don't have three yet? Nope. Don't have enough, enough yellow shards. Well, that's dumb. There's people always asking for a damn fortune. The frick. I'm planning my tour to Green Pine City through Crystal Cave. I have enough of this cold place. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. In cold areas like this, it's always great to have a fire type Pokemon by your side. My favorite is Billaze. Have you heard of something special about this Pokemon? Uh, no. If you can tell me a Billaze, I'll tell you a secret. Do you have a Billaze? I do not. What is a Billaze? Grew up and lived in High Point City for most of my life. It's tough adjusting to this kind of weather. It would be, it would be rough. I mean, I grew up in, oh, Jesus, there, okay, so there is actually some heckin' ice just in the damn city. How do I, um, oh, I just go like this, and then like this, and we can grab that item. It is a full heal, so... I wonder how long that full heal has been sitting here. All these people in this town are like, it is way too tough to get there. We fucking... Ain't nobody getting that full heal. And then we take it. Okay, wait, how the hell? There we go. 
We're going to... Man, this whole place is icy. What the hell? I could see why this would be a pain to live in. Um, how am I supposed to go about this? I'm just going to go down. You know what? We're going to grab that freaking item later. i got exploring to do. Hey, buddy. What's up? Uh, 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 talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah, I get cut off. I love playing in the snow with my Aurora. Seems like a fun time. So there's probably not much in this city. We're probably just supposed to pass through, to be honest. Nothing happens. Maybe a move of a Pokemon will help. Will you wake up slap on this bitch? What is this thing? Hello? You can't click on it. Oh, it's one of those sloth things. <laughs> one of those weird-ass sloths. Okay, so, yeah, it looks like that's really... kind of all there is, other than just heckin' ice everywhere. So, oh, uh-oh. It's gonna be Rodney. Yep, it's fucking Rodney. Hey, Hayden, already leaving Snow Peak Village for Route 18. How was your way through Crystal Cave? It was really cold in there. No new news about Team Solar, Team Lunar. I think we can continue our journey without thinking about this. How about a battle? The last one was in Rassic City. And I trained a lot with my Pokemon. Let's see how strong you are. D okay, so, yep. I knew it. Always in a new city. Rodney's gonna come at us, and this is gonna be... Uh, maybe a little bit scary. So, he is gonna lead off with a Leonite. Which is actually decent for... Our buddy Troll here is we get the Intimidate, which is good. So, level 50, we are going to Brick Break ya. Kind of Diamond Claw? What the hell is that? Gets a defense boost. But with the Intimidate, it wasn't able to do very much damage. One more Brick Break is going to do the trick here. The Hail is going to be annoying. We should just take advantage of Happy while we, while we can. One more Brick Break, going to do it. Diamond Claw sounds like a badass move. Nothing's harder than diamonds. That would uh, that would hurt. Okay, so one down. Leonite dead as hell. Groot Groot at 36. Troll getting hurt by some ice. We should probably switch you out, buddy. Next is a Terra Volt. Um, so you know what? We don't have much for Terra Volt. Could just go into Ranja. Kind of seems like it's all I've really got. We, uh, shit. Terra Volt, you are terrifying. So. I'm just gonna have to do it, I assume. Ooh, it's level 51. Fuck, man. This is not good at all. We have to just go for a flamethrower and kind of hope for the best. Um, doesn't quite knock it out. Air Slash is gonna hurt quite a bit. No, never mind. Did not hurt nearly as much as I was expecting, so <laughs> that's good. All right, the hail's gonna do its thing, and we can finish you with a flamethrower, so. Our team doesn't like electric types that much, especially if Troll's already taken damage. Down you go, hurt by some more hail. Next is the Mount Tree, which is the starter boy. So for Mount Tree, um, I'm gonna go into Troll just to intimidate it. It seems like that would be a decent play here. We hate this Mount Tree, level 52. Um, so we are able to lower that attack. Now I think I should probably go into Happy. Even if it does go for a grass move, I should be able to take at least one, and then... Yeah, I think that's kind of what I have to do here. This Mount Tree... Oh, fuck, it's Mega too. Of course it is. Have we seen Mega Mount Tree yet? I don't think we even have. Alright, so he turns into a gla... Ice... Oh, dude, does it turn into an Ice type? Did this boy just up and switch up on me like that? Though I should have gone into Ranja now that I think about it. I know what Rock Polish is. Oh, Jesus. Um, this thing definitely just turned into like a ice type. Oh fuck! Should I just call? Is it grass? Ice now? Oh man, now it's all fast and everything. I am very afraid of this. We're gonna go for an icicle crash, as it's gonna rock tomb, which will very much hurt. Okay, intimidate helps us out quite a bit there. Do get a speed drop, which sucks. Uh, we land an icicle crash, but it's not gonna do. Ooh, it does! Still do a bunch. Okay. I was thinking this thing maybe just switched up on us all crazy. Now we can just finish it off with a quick attack, which is great. Down you go, Mount Tree. No more killing today, buddy. Alright, the starter's dead, which is always a great sign. Although, Happy took half health. Group to 37. Next is a Budsore. So, for Budsore, we can just go ahead and... Um... Just Dracula this thing probably, but so I mean we actually I think we I think we just stay in with happy though to be honest Young Budsore we are going to heal up here 
just because we like to play it safe. Get to a little hyper potion action. And uh, there we go. So it's gonna chatter. I like how a little little speech box comes up. We are confused, which is fucked. Why? Why must I be confused? What the hell? Should I just switch on this thing? Uh, we could just go into. We could just go into Dracula. I think I don't want to risk the confusion. I know that it's gonna get a crit, and then I'm gonna hurt myself, and it's just gonna be a bad time. Heat wave. Interesting. Why do you have heat wave, Budsor? Why is it that random bird types get? Flying types get heat wave. I guess it kind of makes sense. They, I, I mean, a little bit. I don't really know. Well, let's um, let's actually go for a crunch rather than acrobatics, just because I think the bloodthirst might help us out a bit here. I'd rather just get some more health back. Although acrobatics, come to think of it, might have just knocked it out. But heat wave is gonna miss. Haha. -ha. Who's the better flying type now, bud sore? With the weird ass unibrow looking shit. Okay. Crunch is gonna knock it out. And Dracula finishes with some decent health. So we also are gonna go to level 60. Very nice. Hit by some hail. And a babble. Um, which which bat which one is the babble again? I think we just stay in with Dracula here. This is the the yeah, okay. This is the ooh, this is the ice type one. Oh shit, I should have gone into happy. We are gonna switch into happy now. I don't think Dracula has a good matchup here. I Probably should no. It's the water. Is it water or ice? It looks like it might have both. I don't know. <laughs> it actually just body slams though, which is good. Does get hurt by the hail. So this thing is just the water move, the water one. Seems like it would have ice beam or something. We're gonna hyper potion, old hap, and uh, stop body slamming me. At least we don't get hurt by the hail though. That is all that matters. Um, Ice school crash probably won't do much. That's kind of our best bet here. We're just gonna go for that. I should be using sword stance more with happy, to be honest. Goes and body slams me again. Don't para. Thank you very much. And I kind of want to heal because is this his last mon? I I was not keeping track well enough. Sweet Jesus, we're gonna hyper potion here. I was not keeping track well enough. All it wants to do is body slam. I guess it's got, probably it's only neutral. Okay, and of course, now it gets the para. After so many body slams, we've come to expect it. That's fine. If we could just break through and get an ice cream crash off here. Oh, now it's gonna reflect. Oh, Jesus. That is actually not good. Um, so now that allows it to live it. Uh, the actually good news about this thing actually living is now that we can full restore. I think he still has a mon left, right? He's got to. Um, I just fucking passed my full restores. Only have four of them actually. I need to get I need to get some more. Can you even buy full restores? We're gonna get rid of that para. And now it's going big shocker. Gonna body slam again. Probably gonna para again as well. Yep, called it. I am the master at calling hacks. Does this hail kill you? It sure does. Teach you a lesson, battling me in hail, buddy. Happy does grow to level 60 also. And a Lunape. Okay, so he does still have the Lunape left. Uh, for Lunape, we do have Dracula. I think Crunch actually is just a one-hit KO on this thing. Totally forgot that he had the Lunape. But uh, we should be good here. Level 51. We got nine on you, buddy. Catch this Crunch. Doesn't actually knock it out. Damn. But we are going to get back to nearly full from that. Now it's going to Moon... Oh, fuck, it has Moon Blast. No, 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 no. Okay, thank God. <laughs> it doesn't quite do enough to knock us out. I kind of figured this thing looks like a motherfucker that would have Moon Blast because it's a Lunar boy. Okay, um, we can just finish you off with a crunch. That is going to do it. All right, a little bit of extra bloodthirst just for the road, a little snack for the road. And we good. Root Trial Lord Seed Bomb, okay. That is a better grass move than Razor Leaf, so 80 base power. We're going to get rid of Razor Leaf. And we have done it. Maybe next time, buddy gives us a whole bunch of money. Come on, you win again. Never mind, let me heal your Pokemon. So he gives us a nice little heal up, and I'm sure we're going to meet him in the next city as well. I think I'm not done with this village. I've heard about a move tutor that's living here. I did, in fact, visit that. Uh, Route 18, also called Downhill Paradise. There are many skiers and boarders in the area, so take care of yourself. Hell yeah, we going boarding, boys. All right. 
He told us to make sure we have enough items, so there's probably a long journey ahead of us. But guys, we are going to end the episode here. Next time, we're going to see what's happening on the old ski slope. And uh, yeah, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. As always, see you later.